How many times have we given gifts to a loved one or a friend? Did they have to earn that gift from us? Or did we give it to them because it was something we wanted to offer them? God loves you. He wants you to have a personal relationship with Him through His Son, Jesus. The only thing that separates you from God is sin. The Bible describes sin in many ways. Put simply, sin is our failure to measure up to the standards of a holy and righteous God. We sin by the things we do, choices we make, attitudes we show, thoughts we entertain. We as people tend to divide ourselves into groups, good people and bad people. But God says that every person who has ever lived is a sinner and that any sin separates us from God. And no matter how much we like to classify ourselves, we are all still sinners. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Now some people think that they will be punished or rewarded according to how good they are. Some people think that, you know, they should try to make things right in their lives before they even try to come to God. Others don't even understand how Jesus could love them at all when other people don't seem to. But the good news is, is Jesus does love you. God loves you. More than you can even imagine. And there's nothing you can do to stop it. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 says, But God demonstrates his own love toward us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. For you to come to God, the penalty for your sin must be paid. God's gift for to you is his son Jesus who paid the debt for you when he died on the cross. Romans 6 verse 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Jesus paid the price for your sin and mine by giving his life at a place called Calvary. And God brought Jesus back from the dead three days later and he was seen by many before ascending to heaven where he sits now at the right hand side of the Father. He did this to provide the way for you and I to have a personal relationship with him through Jesus. When we realize how deeply our sin breaks the heart of God and how deeply we need a Savior, how desperately we need a Savior, we are ready to receive God's gift of salvation. To admit we are sinners means turning away from our sin and selfishness and turning to follow Jesus. The Bible word for this is repentance. To change our thinking about how grievous sin is so that our thinking is in line with God's. All that's left for you to do is accept the gift that Jesus is holding out for you right now. Romans chapter 10 verses 9 and 10 says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Why not have a little chat with God right now?